Well, I think it's a final that a lot of people are looking forward to because A, the host nation are in the final. It always helps a tournament when that team can get as far as they can. The buzz is alive. And France have picked up so much momentum. For me, they're favourites. They've got great power up front. Antoine Griezmann, justifiably top scorer. And I think for all the criticism Olivier Giroud gets up front, he's worked incredibly hard, not only for his team, but to get his goals in the tournament. And that, for me, will be the difference between the sides. Ronaldo can only drag a team so far on his own. Renato Sanchez has been a bit of a fine for Portugal, the 18-year-old heading to Bayern Munich, but I think as a team, France are far stronger. And it says a lot to me that Portugal, the only game they won inside of 90 minutes, was the semi against a Welsh team that was all pride and heart, but missing a key player in Aaron Ramsey. So I firmly got France to go on and win the whole thing. The thing about Seattle's season so far, just five wins in 16 games, it's never been like that really for the Sanders. They had one season, I think 2010 or maybe 2011, where they needed a miraculous second half of the season to get into the playoffs, and they made it. But that was when the playoff formula was tougher. It's easier with six teams out of 10 making the playoffs to drag yourself out of a hole. Seven points between them and a playoff place right now with just over half the season to go is not an insurmountable task. Seattle should be gunning for the playoffs. Right now, without the additions coming in, I'm not sure they can drag it back. They've got quality in their squad, but they're in a position that means they have to start getting results and soon. And given the confidence around the club right now and the things that have, have, have happened this season, it's a challenge unlike any other they've faced. All of Seattle is hoping they pull through. Time will tell. Jurgen Klinsmann took the USA as far as they could and I think for them to get to the semi-finals it achieved every justifiable aim that they could. You're always going to assess style points, style of play, tactics, team selection, but to get to the semi-finals of the biggest tournament they've faced in the last couple of years and on home soil it achieved expectations. Whether Klinsman can now kick on, go through World Cup qualifying and maintain some consistency like he showed in his team selections for the Copa America until those suspensions really bit hard against Argentina. It'll be a big, big test of his character. I think he's won over some critics for now but the pressure is certainly not off. Well, the new Premier League season, which kicks off in, what, just over a month, I think a lot of people cannot wait to see what will happen with the two Manchester clubs. They've been totally revitalised by the new coaches. Of course, Jose Mourinho comes in as that gaudy, cocky, but successful figurehead at United making some big signings. Basically, they've said, we want world beaters here, rather than going back to the well and their famed youth academy. But on the other side of Manchester, the noisy neighbours as they're known, Pep Guardiola comes in as the coach with the most fantastic resume right now, but a much humbler approach, approach than Jose Mourinho. It'll be a battle of wills. It'll be a clash of styles. Will Guardiola bring in his high press that he used so effectively at Bayern Munich, that high tempo, asking so much out of his players? Will Jose Mourinho, having flopped at Chelsea second time around, be able to get the respect of Manchester United fans, players and hierarchy given the way his abrasive style rubs against certain people? That's only two of 20 clubs. The other big storylines, of course, can Leicester City, who've held on to Jamie Vardy, their leading scorer, produce anywhere near what they produced last season? That will take an incredible effort. And as for the rest, well, to put Chelsea in the sidelines, you've got Antonio Conte coming in, the Italy national team manager. So don't write them off. And Arsene Wenger at Arsenal, having finished second and pipped Spurs last season, can they now try and take advantage of a second season of flux at the top? It'll be absolutely fascinating.